Hey there, welcome back, Jay Barino here. We're continuing Life of a Marine Boot Camp. It's a prequel campaign for Life of a Marine. Initial training is interrupted by a need for immediate application. Mission two, the few, the proud. So, what's this place? It's one of our mobile command stations, Hyperion. Being classified as a terrorist organization, we need to keep things on the move at all times. Don't worry, we're perfectly safe here. Vertigo sure did help out a lot. He was part of Nova Squadron before defecting, so he knows how their security operates and how to bypass it. Keep us hidden. Well, listen, I've worked my entire life keeping out of helping out the Confederates, and a Catch-22 was all I got in return. I know your organization could definitely use more numbers, and I want to sign up. Well, Cheryl, for a first-time gun user, you were pretty steady. Gotta tell you, I was scared as I was scared to hell you were gonna lose control and take out one of my men, but you maintained your aim. I think you may have what it takes, and yeah, we can always use the extra muscle around here. The Confederacy is a very large, very well-armed monster. Before I make this official, though, you need to acknowledge that by joining the Sons of Korhal, they're gonna label you a traitor. Traitors of the Confederates are kill on sight. Oh, we're ready. We're ready, Jacob Sims, especially to take your job. <laughs> They were going to leave us to die by the Zerg. I'd sooner be, sooner be hanged than return to that, Sergeant Sims. Well then, by the power vested in me, yada yada yada, you know the drill. Suit up, soldier. Vertigo. Sir, give this recruit a thorough training. Skillin. Yes, sir. Stay the hell away from this kid until he's arms proficient. All we need is two incompetent privates put together before we're swimming in accidental blood. You know, if I weren't such a bad shot, I'd probably have your job. I feel for you, private. Right here, real deep, heart's breaking. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to report to Mengsk. We've got a prison break to organize. Oh, yeah, we're going to break out Jim Rayner. That's right. That's probably what he's referring to. They gave me the flamethrower because you don't need good aim to start fires. So, how long have you been with the Sons of Korhal? Since the beginning. I'm a Umojin, and when Korhal got nuked, a lot of us joined up. Anywho, enough out of me. You and Mr. Mystery have a date. Try not to kill anyone. Why does everyone automatically assume I'm going to accidentally kill someone? Happens more than you'd know. Not everyone's a good shot, and not everyone will ever be a good shot. But the equipment's there, and the Confederate space isn't friendly or safe. Greg's just giving you crap, though. You showed promise planet side. Follow me. Training begins. Complete Cheryl's training. All right. Maybe that'll turn him from a 40-hit-point Marine to a 200-hit-point Marine. Get some base armor and damage. The dialogue is so good in this campaign. The story is so well-crafted. This is a military-issue holographic projection system that we lifted from a Confederate boot camp. It's no substitute for actual battle, but it'll train you to hit a moving target. First things first, have you ever killed a man? I've never held a gun before today. Of course not. The trick is to desensitize yourself. That's why I like this hollow projector. You're not hitting cardboard, you're hitting a very well-done human simulation. When you actually see battle, you'll be conditioned to treat the enemy like a hologram instead of a human. It's a poor man's psychology, but we can't train everyone to be master assassins, so it's the best we get. I'll start you off with something small. Three targets. You're not using live ammunition, but please try to remember that I will never be the target of your weapon. Loaded or not. So keep it pointed at the holograms. Alright, half-infested vertigo. Conditioning. Shoot three holograms. You're not a hostile. Got it. Load them up. Starting. Now. Okay, will these fellows actually do damage to us? No. Well, they do, but we're healed. We're, I mean, we're, we instantly get our health back. Sort of simulate the fact that this is a simulation. Simulate the simulation! You heard it here first, folks. All right, take them down. Easy part one. What the hell? They were firing at me. Of course they were. They're armed enemy combatants, and they're going to try and kill you just as much as you're going to try to kill them. I want you to try again. This time there will only be one, but I'm going to toggle on the simulated armor. The holo projector will record how much virtual damage you take, and if you die virtually before he does, you'll get knocked flat on your ass. There will be blood, too, but don't worry, that's just part of the simulation. I want you to get used to the sight of it. Activating, now. Let's see if it's exactly the same as us. It is, so we just have to get the first shot. Okay, well, we got the first shot, we should survive. Without dying. Okay, good. Very good. Now I'm going to whip up a special brew for you. Get ready. Uh, okay. Very funny, Vertigo. What the hell was that? There's nothing funny about being teamed four to one. I'm just letting you know, do not get in that situation. A trained assassin like myself could potentially handle that, but it's not easy. You're a Marine, part of a team. You fight alongside your team. Do not ever separate from them. They will save your ass and you will save theirs. Now, let's add a few team members. Cool. 
Now let's see how well you fare against those four Marines from before. All right, basically the same thing. We just got to get the jump on these fellas. Let's go ahead and queue up some focus firing. It all worked out. Jack Cheryl, please. Jack Cheryl, please. Let my other Marine deal with it. Cool. Very good. Nice teamwork. Now I'm going to teach you what to do if you ever run into someone like me. This is not going to be much use, of, use to you, but we train everyone in it on the off chance the ghost is caught off guard. I'm loading a spider mine. Then I'm going to cloak, and you're going to try to track me. It's not easy, but if you look hard enough, you'll be able to see light bending around me. When I'm close to the spider mine, I want you to shoot it. If I'm close enough, the explosion will kill me in the simulation. We'll keep trying until you manage to get it. Okay, we can get it in, in one shot. There he is. And get it. Got him. Nice shot. Now, in reality, a spider mine would be able to detect me anyway, but any explosive you have on you should work. Alert! Security breach in progress. All personnel are ordered to intercept unidentified intruders at Docking Bay Gamma. Crap. Newbie, ditch that practice gun and grab the real thing. We have company. I'm going into battle now? This isn't ideal, but we don't have any options. Okay. Okay. Oh, there she is! It's Catherine. Kathy, you know what's going on? Rescue mission's going south. We broke Rainer out of the prison ship, but the Confederates sent men to pursue. Guess they found us. Who's the new kid? I'm Jack Sherrill. I'm from the colony. A new kid? You don't even look like you're in your 20s. Healthy living. Does he know how to use that thing? Okay, damn it. I'm really tired of that question. Safety's on the side. I point and shoot and think of my targets as holograms, not people. We almost there? I like this guy, Vert. He's spunky. I'm Catherine Logel. Nice to meet you, and try not to die. And yes, we're here. Okay, men, there are a couple dozen Alpha Squadron behind these doors. They outnumber us, so we're gonna have to outmaneuver them. And that ain't easy, especially since our security guns are inoperable. Get ready. Defeat all Alpha Squadron invaders. All heroes must survive. Let's let's throw down a save here, just in case I do something terrible. Uh, okay, Jack Sherrill still is not in great shape, but we do have three ghosts, which will be able to annihilate infantry quite easily. And then we got this little group right here. We'll include Jack. So that whole spider mine thing, you can't actually do that in the game, can you? If I had vision on an enemy spider mine and I shot it and it blew up, it wouldn't do friendly fire, right? That was just a little simulation for this game, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Craig, get on the... Oh, get on the stairs, Craig. Oh, look at... Oh, what a man. What a man. Look at Craig. Look at him go. All right, let's back up. Let's keep him on the stairs. Let's just hold position right here. Between all of our ghosts, again, our ghosts do huge amounts of damage to this, this type of composition. It's incredible. Okay, we should be fine here. All right, back this fella up. Get out of there. Okay, this is going really well. Nobody's really in danger of dying except this fellow who, yep, there he goes. That's okay, though. Nice work, man. Recruit Cheryl. You did very well for a newcomer. I'm a quick study, sir. Good. Welcome to the Sons of Core Hall, Private. Everyone back to their stations. We need to move before Confederates find us again. Wow, another really short mission. Uh, I, you know, I'm just gonna keep releasing one a day, though. I don't, I don't see a reason to go overboard here. Apologies, sort of, I guess. I mean, all my videos are so long, it's a little refreshing for me to do some short missions. And I feel like the map maker is... Back when he made these, whenever it was, I think this was like maybe early 2000s, um, is really sticking to his strengths here. The gameplay is, I mean, it's very short, but it's interesting. It's not just wander a giant cave. It's interesting snippets of gameplay. Meanwhile, a ton of story-related aspects, which is really the strong point of Life of a Marine, in my opinion. It's very good. Some of the best writing for StarCraft 1, at least, possibly even some of the StarCraft 2 campaigns I played. Certainly very good. Alrighty, well, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.